when I first began sharing poetry, um, Rumi's Cave was the place where I knew I would, it would be, it was my safe space, you know, it was a place where I could definitely yeah. share things and, and not be judged and be supported. Right, right. And I think, I think actually kind of, I'm thinking back to my, our, our discussion around moving through different spaces, um, religious, secular, political activist, education, all those different spaces. I think for me, the kind of, that I did kind of embed some confidence at, at the open mics at Rumi's Cave that really actually sustained me going to other places. So even if something, a telling perhaps didn't go so well, in my mind, I would think, well, perhaps it was something about that space. You know, it went down well at Rumi's and I felt seen and, and heard there and, and um it kind of gave me a bit of a secure base, you know, in that in those kind of terms of confidence and support. I think solidarity. I wanted to ask you, Rakaya, a bit specifically about the the open mic at Rumi's Cave, because I think it's a really interesting part of the kind of northwest London community and and part of many people's creative process. Yes, Rumi's Cave is. It's sort of a third space where people can come and just meet other Muslims. It's open to everyone. Currently, there's a Malaysian cafe running out of the space as well. So it's it's just a hub for people to, to come through. Um, and it's a place where you can find... Islamic lectures and they are currently doing Jummah prayers it's not a masjid but it is and it also supports uh, artistry in different forms so the whole place is full of um, wonderful visual art pieces and we also host an open mic there um, in that space so people come through to share poetry to share music we've had comedians come even someone came through and just spoke loads of the languages that he knows so the, the open mic is really open to anyone to to share um whatever you want to um and they're sort of notorious for for going on and on into the night because no one really wants to leave it's got such a homely um atmosphere and the setup is um, very, very cosy and inviting. So Rumi's Cave moved from a very small shopfront space um, that was really just like a living room. Uh, and then it's moved into a larger space, which, which is an old school building that's just been transformed by the amazing team. They're so hands-on. They just completely created this space with these beautiful arch doors and just teal colors everywhere and lovely embroidered uh, cushions and and carpets um so that's where we are now movie Rumi's cave um is currently looking for for a permanent home um but it really is the community of people that makes the space so I'm sure wherever it goes and the open mic will be going with it. That that same energy, I trust, will be will be kept up. Inshallah, inshallah, inshallah. And you, you've given us a really kind of really rich description um, of Rumi's cave and of the and of the role of the open mic, which I think has really been so supportive. I know I know I used to tell stories there a lot, um, and it really helped me kind of practicing and telling stories, finding my voice. And I think it's been such an important place for a lot of people who've, who've gone on to develop various art forms or work via, via, you know, the open mic at Rumi's Cave. So you've given us a really great introduction and description of the community. Thank you, Rakaya. No problem. The same for me, actually. And that's so, so necessary for creating artists who can go out into different spaces it's it's great to have that place that can can nourish and and feed the art before going out and and sharing it further I think so and to feel I think for me it provided as well 
thinking about it now with you, a sense of solidarity as 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 artists who, who who've got some form of devotional art form as Muslims. Actually, we're taking very different, but we're taking our our work and our efforts and our intentions, and they're manifesting it in whatever art form they are that has a spiritually influenced, a spiritually inspired, and Islamically inspired spirit to it. And I think the solidarity of the Rumi's open mic group and community really supported that. I, I'm, I think it would be hard to do it alone, actually, mm. thinking about it now with you. Mm. Mm.